Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something from Compass Box, yay, the magic cask. Ooh. I paid 159 euros for this, whiskey base number 150921, 46%, ba-ba-ba, and it has a nice little lion label on, or label on this, and there's circus. So Compass Box, very interesting, on um, their magnets in here. So it actually snaps shut. Um, Well-designed little box here. Reminds me a little bit of the new things from Gordon McPhail as well. All right, so what we have here is, and this is something I really will not understand. We basically have imperial liquid here. 92% first fill um, bourbon casks from imperial. These imperial casks are worth something. They're sought after. It's a silent distillery. It's a ghost distillery, no longer producing whiskey and never will produce whiskey again, the Imperial Distillery. And then they mix it with, and now listen please, to a basically three-year-old whiskey. So I paid 159 euros for a three-year-old whiskey because as soon as you put a little bit of the youngest whiskey in here, that's the age it is. So um, what they had is they had a miraculous magic cask, apparently, cask number two, and it was from a distillery very near to Abalauer. It says distillery near to the town of Abalauer. Very beginning, I thought, oh, it must be Craig Adache because I drove past Craig Adache to get to Abalauer, but then looked at the Google map, and then I have to drive a little, a little bit closer, it would be Glen Adache. So it's not Craig Adache, it might be Glen Adache. Um, hmm. I don't know, 5,538 bottles we have of this. And I would have actually focused my entire attention as a marketer on the Imperial whiskey in here. But no, the entire thing is about this magic cask number two. So it says here, um, in 2016, we re-racked one-year-old malt spirit of robust character into first fill Ololosa She's and Seasons Bucks. By 2029, or sorry, 2019, one particular cast, number two, proved so compelling that we began to experiment. And after introducing it to a much older malt whiskey from the now lost Imperial Distillery, we witnessed a magic moment, a moment of magic, magic cask. They're talking about the three-year-old whiskey. There's very little information about the Imperial. We don't know how old it is. Scotch Whiskey Association, the European U Union would not allow it. You can only name the youngest whiskey in here, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, 46%, non-chill non filtered, bottled March 2020, and um, natural color. Very, very nice. Okay, very interesting. Now, I'm going to compare it to something here. It's called Straff Eiler. This is Gordon McPhail. Yeah, this is an old bottling of mine that I've had for about two years now. Um, old. Now, this was actually distilled 2006, and it was um, bottled 2017. So it might be three years old, but it's more two years old. I bought it basically um, sometime in 2018, and this is 43%, so it's not exactly the same. But this is a little bit of an old school moment for me every time I try it. I get really, really great um, space side moments here. And um, let's just nose it. Happy Jason. Over here. So they're calling this, and I get a little bit of it, a little bit of like a, of, of a orange sherbet. They're getting a tiny little bit here of marmalade, maybe the orange marmalade. It says here the flavor profile, I'm reading this for the first time, aromas of marmalade and chai tea spices with hints of plum, ripe golden dessert apples dominated that dominate the luscious palate, supported by an oaky richness. Flavors of toffee and cacao powder are all conjured up. So interesting, interesting. That's good whiskey. It's not a great, but it's a good. It's not a terrible, but it's a good. It's, is it worth 159 euros? Not in my book. Now, I really, really, really do not understand. Um, if, if I had Imperial casks, I would be filling them up right now as we speak and selling them for an outrageous amount of money. Um, Imperial casks go over here in, in Germany at the moment for 250 euros per bottle. This is 150 euros per bottle, and it's only 8% of the um, 
three-year-old and 92% of the Imperial. Question, can or has um, Compass Box actually bottled a single malt anything? Or are they almost, almost forcing themselves to always create blends? And if so, um, the question is, why? For me, there's a certain amount of me, and what I do now is when it gets hot, I open up my, my hands hot. There's a hotness to this whiskey which really, really disturbs my flavor experience. Now I'm going to demonstrate what I mean. I'm going to take this whiskey not down to 40%, but to about 35%. And I'm going to try it again. Get rid of the, the alcohol moment, yeah? Not even the nose, it opens up. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 At a much lower ABV than the 46 that it was bottled at, this actually tells it a beautiful, beautiful story. There's the orange sherbet, there's the cacao powder, there's a little bit of a of a um, vanilla custard maybe even in there that they wrote. Um, this is beautiful, this is wonderful. But the way they bottled it at 46%, for me, it's just alcohol burn and it has hardly any flavor left. If you can di dilute the alcohol and get all that wonderful whiskey character that's in the background there, this is a wonderful, wonderful whiskey. This is a B minus whiskey. Without the um, water, it's a C, going on a C minus whiskey. Um, value for money, 159 euros. I think that's way too expensive. Um, as I just said, if I bottled it as Imperial, I could get 250 per bottle for it, which would also be way too expensive. But for the product, for the experience, for the um, for the mouthfeel that I get here, um, it's just too, ex too expensive. It's a D for me personally. With water, it might actually be a C. Um, but this is very, very, very beautiful. It has a long finish when water is added. Without the water, it, the, the alcohol just kind of corrupts it, in my personal opinion. Now, I know I'm just one of many, many people out there that hopefully will be able to try this whiskey, share this whiskey, review this whiskey, and encourage you to try other products from Magic Cask. But I just don't get this whiskey at its 46% uh, APV. Yes, we want non chilled filtered. Yes, we want natural color and so on. But the whiskey really, really doesn't, uh, doesn't shine with all that alcohol bite in there. And the question that I have is, where does that bite come from? Is it the three-year-old whiskey that's biting my tongue and chiseling at my taste buds? Or is it the Imperial? I really have a problem thinking that it's the Imperial. I might be wrong. Because it was in first fill bourbon barrels. I mean, those first fill are still active. And they've been there for maybe a decade or two, at least. And so this is something that actually would be, for me, a very, very interesting thing here to understand what's going on and why. Why is that heat is there? So, all right, as I said, I'm giving this actually a C, um, B minus with a lot of water and the value for money is a D. So what is your favorite compass box um, bottling? Question of the day. Um, second question of the day is, does or has um, compass box ever released a single malt? If so, which one? Or are they always a blended, a blended malt or blended um, scotch? That would be my question. I need to learn. I need to find out. And I thank you very much for helping me do that. Oh, by the way, the Strat Island without water at 43%. Nice. This is a B minus for me. Mm. 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 You don't see many independently bottled Strat Islas out there, 11 years old, fabulously done. Thank you very much. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey for the viewpoint of an American in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Um, please like, subscribe, please tell others, please share this video with other people. 
And thank you very much for being um, supportive and also encouraging me to continue al along this whiskey journey of ours. Bye-bye.